Hi, I'm Mariah Hilbert with Horizon Group USA, leader in jewelry making, fashion apparel crafts, and kids crafts. I am proud to present the mixed media artist, Susan Lenart Kasmer, as she brings you more of her unique, one of a kind, found object jewelry components from the industrial chic line, only available at Michael's stores. Join Susan as she demonstrates how to turn commonplace objects into heartfelt story charms and jewelry. Hi, I'm Susan Lenar Kasmer. Um, I'm here with the industrial chic line that you can find at Michael's. And I wanted to show you how to use um, a few of the pieces. Uh, the, in this segment particularly, I wanted to show this pendant. Um, it's actually a photograph of a flower that I had dried and pressed and put into the piece. This is the project book that I have at Michael's. And this is one of the projects that you're going to find um, in the project book. I call it a garden amulet. And um, to start with, oh, let's take a look at the real, the real piece here. There it is. And it's called the garden amulet. And with this piece, um, it actually is a locket that you can open and switch out. I like using transparencies in here because um, you really can see right through it with all the transparencies. But I did cut another image just to show an idea of what you could put inside of your piece. So this one is actually just cut with some paper that I found and I liked a lot. So that's just to switch out the image. Um, and now I want to show attaching the tassel to the bottom. I have three tools with me. I have, a, I have um, wire snips and I have chain nose and needle nose pliers. And with these, I'm going to be able to do whatever I want to do. Um, to start with, these are some of the, the um, components that are in uh, the industrial chic line. And let me go ahead and grab these. You can use these just as is, or I can add, change them. I can open up my spring and just kind of pull it and um, just pull it down. And then I can actually just create a loop on top. So this, I just wanted to show a few more details that you can do with the piece. So that one actually is going to sit here. Um, this is one of the pieces that are included in that tassel form that I showed. And then I use one of the, um, one of the wires here. And I'm going to put to, this is a spacer and I'm actually going to be able to put this together. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to form an L with my wire. This is the metal fiber that I use so often in my work. And then I'm just going to take this other end and wrap. I'm just going to take it and wrap it around. You don't have to be too neat. It can be very organic looking. Um, it is a botanical, so I want it to be a little bit more natural. And then I'm going to bend it in an in a L shape at the top. And with this piece, I just added it right onto the charm that I have right here. And this, I'm just going to fold down my edge and get rid of my end and secure my piece on here. And then I can cut my edge off. Just get in here and cut this edge off. There we go. OK, so now I have this part of my pieces. This is going to sit up here. Next, let's connect these together. I'm, I'm going to open up the spring here. And I'll slip this right onto my jump ring. And then what I'm just going to do is create a loop. I'm going to decide how long I want my stamen to hang. And I'm just going to create a loop and attach it right onto here as well. So that actually is just a lot of bending and twisting. And um, really, you could do it as neat or as messy as you like. I'm just going to snip off the excess. There's large and small sizes with the metal fiber that you can use. Then you just want to make sure that it's burnished down so it doesn't hurt anyone that wears the jewelry piece. OK, and then to connect uh, the whole tassel to the bottom of my necklace, I'm just going to take two pliers and open up each direction and slip my pendant on and close it right up. So this is just the traditional jump ring. You never want to open it up this way. And um, then I have the whole bottom part done. You could add on a variation of charms or whatever you want to. Um, so now what I did on this piece is I, I cast a stick as part of the line. I really like using sticks in my work. And I'm going to take, again, another long piece and I'm just going to bring it through. 
long piece of metal fiber. I'm just going to bring it through in a V shape. And then really, and sometimes you could really even just use your hands for this type of look. This one, I'm just gonna hold it up to balance it and just do a wrap on top of here. And uh, this actually is a very ancient and traditional way. Um, I have it in my coal joints, a book on coal joints. And um, it's just is a way prehistorically before time, many, many cold connections were done. So it's really kind of a fun connection. It's just the wrapping. Um, the next thing I want to do, or the final thing I want to do, is just to connect the whole piece to my work. Again, I do have a jump ring that's on here. Um, if I do want my piece to be a little bit more decorative, I can take my jump ring off. And I just, again, showing a little variation of how to attach. I'm just going to make the V shape again and um, put it right onto a cord. You could put this onto a chain or a cord. This one, if I have a lot of metal on my, um, on my jewelry piece, I really like to mix it with maybe a little bit of color or a different type of um, material. So this is actually a rubber cord. Um, there's leather cords. You could mix it with fiber or anything else. Okay. And um, this, you, you, you know, you can just wrap carefully. And um, when you're done, just go ahead and snip off the excess and you want to make sure the end is burnished. The way that I burnish my ends is I just really burnish them down with my pliers just to make sure there's no ends that are going to scratch or rip your clothing when you're wearing this. And let's take a look at the finished product, the finished piece right here. And uh, there's uh, many other projects that you can look at um, that I've, I've put together for you at Michael's.